concept of collection. In previous tutorial, we have already seen the concept of array, where array is a set of elements of same data type. But every time, this cannot be the scenario. There are the situation where we need to store the elements of different data type. And obviously, we cannot store that in array. So we need something, we need a container, we need a storage which can hold elements of different data type. And yes, that is the collection. So hello friends, this is Dr. Nikisha Jariwala. Welcome to the tutorial of VB.net. Now, what is collection? As I have already told, we can say that a collection is a one dimensional storage area which can hold the values of mixed data types that is different data types. When we add items within the collection, automatically the size of collections get increased. So at the time of declaration, there is no need to specify the size of the collection. And obviously the collection is also declared with the help of deem statement. So here is the syntax, deem C name as new collection. Here C name is the user defined name, as is the keyword. New is also the keyword which is used to allocate the memory and collection is the class. Here is an example, deem actress as new collection. Now we have already declared the collection of the name actress. Let's add items within the collection and that is possible with the help of add method. The syntax of it is C name that is the collection name dot add that is the method we need to pass two parameters within the add method first is the value and second is the key here key is the parameter which will be further used to access the value from the collection so here is an example actress dot add parenthesis within double quotation as i want to store the value of string data type and I have stored Sonam Kapoor, comma, and the key is SK. And obviously it is also string, so it has been specified within double quotation. Now let's assume that we have stored the items or we can say we have stored the values within the collection. Now we need to access those values from the collection and that is possible with the help of item method. So here is the syntax, C name, dot item we can specify index here we need to consider is that that the index within the collection will begin with one and not with zero it is a very important thing if we use index to access the values from the collection or the another way to access the values from the collection is with the help of key which i have already specified over here that is C name, that is the collection name, dot item, and within parenthesis, key. Let's see an example. Actress, dot item, within parenthesis, double quotation, SK, which is the key of the value that is Sonam Kapoor. Or I can also use an index that is actress, dot item, within parenthesis, one. As I have already specified, that the index within the collection will start with one. So over here, it has been specified as one because there is only a single value within our collection. Now let's assume that there are more than one values within the collection. So we need to traverse the collection to access those values. And for that, we need to use for each loop. Here is the syntax of for each loop. That is for each element means here we need to specify the variable that will hold the value from the collection. So if the value is of string data type, then we can write string. If it is of integer data type, we can write integer. After that, it is in, that is again, it is a keyword. And then the name of the collection that is C name. Then as we specify sp statements within the for loop, that is statements, exit for. Again, we can specify statements. And by the end, the for each loop will also end with next keyword let's see an example let's see an example so it will be more clear for each act as string as i want to retrieve the values within string variable so i have used act as string here act is the name of the variable and string is the data type 
in is again the keyword and the name of our collection is actress and after that within message box dot show i have displayed the value that has been retrieved within act variable and then it is next keyword so this for each loop will be iterated up till it will traverse each and every element within the collection so as you have noticed here we don't need to use any index or iteration variable the loop will be terminated as soon as the last value is reached within the collection now obviously as it is a class so there will be some properties and methods of the collection count is the property which will return the number of elements within the collection remove is the method which is used to remove particular element from the collection and clear is the method which is used to clear whole collection that is it will clear each and every values it will remove each and every values from the collection so here is an example for this properties and methods over here i have specified one variable that is deem cnt as integer within cnt i have assigned the value of actress dot count so it will return total number of elements that are stored within the collection and it will be assigned to cnt and after that i have displayed that value within the message box that is message box dot show cnt dot to string and if there are six values within the collection then it will display six then i have specified actress dot remove remove is the method and i have specified the key that is sk so it will remove the item with the key that is sk and then i have specified express dot clear means it will clear whole collection so this was the theory part of our tutorial now let's move on to the practical part and for that purpose i have already created one form so let's open it so here is the project that is vb.net tutorials and within that i have created one form that is frm collection so here is the form on which i have placed two buttons first button contains the code uh, within which i have added some values within the collection and then i have displayed those values and the second button contain the code for the properties and methods that we have already seen in the theory portion of our tutorial so first of all let's see the click event of the first button that is display collection before adding any values within the collection we know that we need to create that collection and so for that purpose i have specified the statement that is deem actress as new collection which i have already specified within the theory portion after that on the click event of the button i have added six values that is actress dot add value is sonam kapoor key is sk then again second value i have added is priyanka chopra key is 2 then i have added madhuri dikshit nene and the key is mdn then i have added dipika padukone and the key is 3.14 then i have added sara ali khan and i have not specified the key means if i want to access this value then i have to use the index of that value and obviously the index will be 5 because it is at fifth position within the collection and the last value that i have added is 6 and the key is dp and after that i have used for each loop to display the value from the collection that is for each act as string in actress this also we have already seen in the theory portion and then message box dot show and within parenthesis i have specified act so one by one each and every values from the collection will be retrieved with the help of for each loop and the value will be assigned in act and that will be displayed with the help of message box now let's move on to the second button and here is the click event of the second button that is click as we have seen in the theory portion first of all we will create one integer variable that is cnt then with the help of actress dot count here count is the property which will return total number of values within the collection and the value will be assigned within cnt and then with the help of message box dot show we have displayed that value and obviously it will return 6 then we have specified that if cnt is not equal to 0 means the collection contains the value then i want to remove the value 
with key DP from the collection. So I have specified actress dot remove and then I have specified within parenthesis double quotation the key that is DP. So the value six will be removed from the collection. And after that, again, I have iterated the collection. That is, I have traversed the collection with the help of same for each loop, which I have already specified over here. And obviously it will display five values because we have already removed one value from the collection. Then I have specified actress dot clear means it will clear whole collection. And then I have tried to display or I have tried to traverse the collection again, but obviously it will not display any value because with the help of actress dot clear whole collection has been emptied. Now let's execute the form and see what does it display. So here is our form. First of all, let's click on first button. So the first value is Sonam Kapoor, second is Priyanka Chopra, third is Madhuri Dikshit Nene, fourth is Deepika Padukon, and fifth is Sara Ali Khan. And the last value within the collection is six. So these were the six values that has been displayed with the help of this for each loop. Now let's click on the second button that is click. And obviously it will display count of actress is equal to six because we have added six values within the collection. Now, after that, the statement has been executed that is actress dot remove and within parenthesis it was DP. So now this for each loop will display only five values. It will not display six. That is Sonam Kapoor, Priyanka Chopra, Madhuri Dikshit Nene, Deepika Padukon and Sara Ali Khan. And after that, it has not displayed anything because then the statement that is actress dot clear has been executed. So it will clear whole collection. And then again, I have iterated for each loop, but it will not display anything. Now, if I again click on this button, then obviously it will display count of actress is equal to zero because the whole collection has been emptied. And after that, it will not display anything. So this was all about the tutorial that is concept of collection. If the tutorial is helpful to you, please like and share the video. Also subscribe the channel and hit the bell icon so you never miss the update. Link to my Instagram account is also specified within the description box because I also upload different tutorials on Instagram account. So if you are Instagram user, then you can also view my tutorial on Instagram. So you can move on to description box and see the handler of my Instagram account. Thank you.